Hello, beautiful sweet souls. Welcome to the video from Ireland's own Fox here. How are you today? So in this video, I want to make a video about how to get healthy. We're all at different levels of health and growing up, here's a beautiful house. Growing up, we've all been fed different things. So my goal is to have like a lot of energy, no aches or pains, uh, just wellness to move your body and to exercise like the way I am now, like cycling lovely crystal bracelet and to uh, be well enough to be happy in life um, and not to be afraid or get sick or disease or illness uh, another beautiful house this is a uh, county Wicklow Ireland by the way so let me see okay so let me start the fundamentals of health are apart from food which is very important um, is the sunshine and getting fresh air, sunbathing or sun, or sun gazing and touching the earth with your feet or, or naked or whatever else, swimming in the sea. And drinking enough water and getting enough rest and enough sleep and living in a clean environment which isn't full of toxins or like you know a whole lot of artificial stuff and maybe you can even make your house air better by having a few indoor plants which clean the air and give more oxygen hello crow what a nice house eh? lots of nice houses around here and they're all different so let's get to diet if you're eating if you've been eating processed foods a lot or a lot of uh, processed and factory farmed meat another nice house you might have a bit too much acidosis including if you've had a lot of stress um, if you've been eating a lot of dairy in your life that'll clog you and help give you acidosis as well like a bit too much acid in for the balance of the pH so what I'd recommend is eating a lot more fruits and vegetables uh, mostly raw more definitely include a lot more raw fruits especially the fruits is the number one along with the green juices are also very alkalizing and helps to detox gently as well as being very nutritional so I definitely get a juicer it's my number one tip I suppose number one tip is probably just get a juicer if you don't have the money just eat more fruits and salads that will help act as a broom and to clean your GI tract so that goes on to the next tip guys Next tip, clean your GI tract, clean, clean uh, your colon. You can do that with herbs or you can do it with colonics or enemas. Enemas are great because they're cheap and you can do it regularly. I've even been doing daily enemas lately for the last six days and it's very good, just really good. I need less sleep because I do it at night time. Here's this, uh, let's ambush this guy. Hey, how are you? Hey. So, uh, beautiful eh? beautiful countryside so uh, yeah that's what I'd recommend uh, occasional enemas sometimes if, like you know it just depends on how dirty or clogged your your colon is some people even have like over a stone for like 14 pounds or like seven kilos or more of like fecal matter and old waste and this helps toxify the blood and definitely interfere with your body like a lot it can really cause like problems so clean your colon is the number one thing for regarding diet Cleansing, one number one, clean your colon, your GI tract. Number two, for, for diet, the most important thing is have like have to do fresh juices, fruit and vegetables like the greens and the fruits, as well as eating more fruits, a lot more fruits, and have salad with every meal. That's really, really good if you're having a lot of like cooked foods. Have a salad with your Indian meal or your Italian or whatever you're eating. Guys, I just love spring. Ah oh, yeah, I love exercising. Exercising is really important too. Have fun activity. Get out there guys. Put on your shorts. Hello little sheep. There are the mountains. So I hope you're feeling fit today. Happy, healthy, strong. Breathing deep, breathing the air. Letting out the carbon dioxide, the carbon carbonic acid via your lungs and breathing in all the oxygen to oxygenate your cells. It's been proven by the Nobel Prize winner like over 50 years ago 
plants are, can't survive in an oxygenated area. So that's why too much like clogging, congesting, mucus forming foods like white bread. Just basically a lot of the stuff that we eat basically, a lot of starches, especially dairy and meat isn't good either. You should only really eat, generally in my opinion, meat once, twice a week max. Even less than once a week. Apparently in Chinese herbal medicine they don't recommend you eat meat until you're 40 at all. And then once a week, then your 50s twice a week. <laughs> Another thing you can do is support your body with herbs regularly, like dandelion tea. You can look at my herbal shop below, boost your adrenals, give you back energy and strength again. I have herbs below, you can see my shop, hireselfherbs.com, which helped me because I was really exhausted and sick before, really badly. And I got bloody hell, like cycling like a maniac now. Oh, lovely little rabbits. Ah, <laughs> oh, cute. Cute things, love you. So if you want herbs, if you've given birth, you know, that can lead to postpartum like depression slash exhaustion. It, it can make your teeth bad, you've drawn up so many nutrients from giving birth. Make you tired, make you depressed, or if you've had surgeries, if you've been really sick, exhausted, ill, depleted, then you can check in my adrenal herbs below, mainly the Hoshiwu, and especially also Rejuvenate. That's helped me so much, and I'd love it. Love it if you're tired and sick or unwell, like exhausted, to get that too. It lasts for a few months. The sun is the best thing for so many things. Sunbathing, getting the sun on your skin. It's not what the media told us. Their lies. The media lied about loads of stuff, including the sun, trying to make us scared. The sun is actually incredibly life enhancing. It's been shown to improve our immune system by three times or more. Uh, really strongly protective against cancer because it enhances vitamin D in our body. <laughs> it's always an animal. It makes vitamin D in the body and vitamin D is highly, highly, highly protective against all sorts of stuff like diabetes, inflammatory conditions, rheumatoid arthritis, uh, brain, mental issues, um, cancer osteoporosis, all sorts of mad stuff. Vitamin D is so important guys. I've, I've sunbathed today for like an hour and I sunbathed two days ago for like an hour and a half. It's really good and you get a lovely tan. It's, it's good looking and you can put, I put coconut oil on afterwards. Coconut oil like is also natural sun factor 10 and it helps prevent red skin. It's really good. You know, I don't get red skin when I put coconut oil on my body and I sunbathe naked too because it's the best. Definitely drink enough water and get enough sleep. That's that's vitally important. These are like the basics of life, guys. If you're not doing these things, like you're gonna be sick or at least not very good health. The number one cause of bad health is dirtiness. <laughs> Sorry guys, I didn't mean that in such a bad way. Dirtiness. It's actually like it's uncleanliness though. It's like too many toxins and too much mucus and cluggage and uh, waste in your body. That's why my number one health recommendation for nearly everyone is to clean your colon and your GI tract. They say death begins in the colon and it's true. You just like too much dirt, waste, fecal matter, toxins, pollutants. Clean your, co your colon. It's like do enemas, get some colonics. A few colonics and do a lot of enemas. It doesn't have to be every day like or anything like that. Even just like once a week, one, even once a month. Depending on how bad your diet was before and how sick you are now, you might want to do more cleansing and strengthen your body with the herbs that I recommended so you can see below my video too. Or you can get them elsewhere of course, but at least I supply them to put that service for the community. When everyone else is gone. No, 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 no. Don't fall into the metal zone. One handed making a video with a big bag on my back. <laughs> my bag is like 10 kilos or 8 kilos. I don't know, it's pretty heavy. Usually it's like 15, which is. So uh, there are my health tips for today, everybody. You have to get serious with this if you're sick. You know, if you're sick, you have to do a lot of things right. Cleaning your colon is the biggest factor by far if you're sick. Clean it out, guys. Cancer, all of these things. 
even like arthritis. It's just too much acids in your body and you're collected in your joints. So clean out the clean out the acids, alkalize your body with the green juices, with the salads and the raw fruits and vegetables. Have to this hill is a bit heavy. With the salads and raw fruits and vegetables, it'll help keep your colon clean and act as a broom to clean out your your GI tract. And I recommend watching Dr. Morris. If you click on my channel wall, you'll be able to go to his channel. He's the best healer I know of. If you have serious issues, he'll give you specifics, proper stuff. You need to educate yourself. I don't want you to be sick, but you know, if you want to be sick, that's fine with me. It's your life. We're all souls. But uh, if you don't want to be sick, then you have to educate and take action. Inspired action, because you want to see yourself being he well and healthy. All right, everyone, so I hope that helped. Uh, if you appreciate this video, give us a like, comment, and a share, even. And it's lovely to hear from you. If you have any questions or any topics you'd like, let me know. Any specifics, maybe, on body, mind, or spirit. I'm always trying happy to be helpful. Yay! Thanks! Nice man. So the traffic is busy, so sorry about all the traffic. Sorry if it's been a bit noisy. Hope that you've been able to hear. Hope you've been able to hear and uh, love yourself and look after yourself in every way. Enjoy the rest of my videos, see my wall for playlists, and of course, I'm delighted to share and say I've got a new book and I'm working on my other book, but I don't know. Check that out below if you want. And healthy, gluten free, uh, dairy free, soy free, vegan recipes for my girlfriend. You can find her, Sally. That's below, sallysherbsy.com. That's a great, lovely resource. Her food is magnificent. Bloody hell. Sally's food is like astronomically good. So good, I'm telling you guys. Can't wait for her to have a proper cookbook, recipe book. Raw too. Cooked and raw. So there's a hill coming, so I'll take goodbye. Take care, lots of love, and thanks for all your love and support and all of your comments. See you, everyone. Bye, have a good day. Usually there's like loads of cats here, like <laughs> six or seven. <laughs> Bye.